Hey guys, so back with another one. This is our second tutorial on this feed. I'll be linking everything of his down in the description, but let's just look at his feed for now. So you can see there's obviously a lot of blues and teals. So there's teals really come out. Those blues are very teal. And then in the highlights, there is quite a bit of warmth sometimes. These really dark blacks. So um, they're quite dark that they lose detail, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's kind of a style thing. So getting those really dark blacks with a little bit of a fade um and yeah so quite harsh contrast we are recreating this shot right here like i said those greens stand out a lot and those blues stand out a lot and then if there's warm tones they get brought out quite a bit sometimes as well the oranges presets here you can click here you can click on shop so over here he has tons of before and afters for you so hopefully you learn a bit from this tutorial and then you're able to use his presets uh quite well i'll link these up down below as well for you guys if you're part of the course you have the raw image and the dng and the settings you guys just download that and you can play around with this uh raw image and follow along this tutorial and do your own edits on it and stuff like that all right so screenshot off his instagram and then the raw unedited one here so if we go reset this is the original shot so we're we'll obviously gonna crop in a lot there bang we just crop in settings first of all come down here we'll enable profile corrections he is shooting cannon so taking on the 7200 f 2.8 is mark three i could be wrong but that seems like a pretty slow shutter but he's probably got a tripod or something um f4 and iso uh 800 there so maybe should have up the iso and then up the shutter speed to be double your focal length but i could be wrong okay so getting into this edit let's enable the curves here so the curves make the image very dark so that is because we are dropping everything here dropping stuff in this curve as well and then we are dropping stuff in the color channels as well so that's going to make our overall edit quite dark and now bring up the exposure what the curves are doing i'll try to explain what the curves are doing throughout the edit but obviously darkening the shadows there we want quite dark crunchy shadows like we said same in the color channels this lets us put in more blue into the highlights and then we're gonna take a bit of blue out of the shadows because we're gonna do some split turning for the blues red and green are about the same we look very contrasty so we're gonna have to take a bit of that out so let's up the blacks shadows highlights down just flattening out the image a bit and let's bring down saturation of stuff uh, a bit more contrast bring out these whites we are looking exposed now and we have our curves let's drop this clarity let's just drop this quite a bit so turning curves off and on now you can see how flat out images with these adjustments and then how much contrast these curves add in and these curves are going to be important to the fade we get throughout the image that's why we needed the the curves okay uh, let's just drop the vibrance down a bit more so let's just jump straight into split turning and what we want is blues in the shadows right? and the reason we've got so many shadows down here in his image is because i know i'm going to come in and do filters later to add in the shadows don't worry too much about the exposure right now because we need to do lots of filters for this one okay so what we want is a decent amount of a blue Sweet. And then in the highlights, we're going to complement that with a warmth. And cool. So now we've got way more of those blues he uses. This image is quite warm compared to his other shots, but that's a split turning for us. But what I want to do now is just slide this to the right and it's, it's just going to give more favor to the highlights. So we're going to bring these highlights into the midtones. Okay, and keep those blues more in the blacks so that warms up the image a bit 
which is kind of what we wanted as well. Uh, as for HSL, let's just quickly um, let's get our saturation reasonably close. So we'll just drop the greens a lot, blues and aquas. We need these oranges to pop. Um, yellows down. As we have a lot of yellows in the greens, and we kind of want this dim color to the greens. And so let's mess around with some of these to get the tone we want. Um, we want warm tones. So we're kind of getting warm tones. Yeah, and then that blue, the blue shadows kind of complement all the warm tones that we're putting in the greens and the yellows here. Down the bottom here, we want like these real blues throughout the entire image especially to the green so i'm just gonna go to calibration and then bring this over to the right maybe bring down saturation a touch and that gives everything this real blue especially the greens and yellows go this nice blue he quite often has throughout his feed uh, back up here let's just we definitely want teals there isn't many blues in this image but we definitely want teals okay um. so we obviously need to do a lot of filters to this image because look how bright our subject is yet how bright down here is so what we, we need to just start brushing and shaping the light so what I'm going to do is grab brush this brush so just over the subject we go exposure contrast shadows maybe just a bit um, and then sharpening to our subject saturation to our subject maybe some clarity to our subject okay so now our subjects popping okay so our next filters gonna be down here so we want to shape the lighting for our subject so all that we want to do bring down the exposure and especially down in the foreground we want this pretty dark so we'll bring this down to keep our eye up upwards towards the subject um, this one so if I press O now we want just to smoothen that out like that and then maybe our last filter so this is a bit of a glow and a good giveaway that he has um, done a filter up the top of the image is look how bright this tree is here like, and then look how bright it is in our image like there's just no way to get that it, that bright without brightening up the top so Okay, so now we've shaped the lighting and like all what we've done is just made the shadows more shadowy and the brights more bright and the subject pop and framed them right in the middle. We will do a very slight amount of vignetting as well. Only a little bit. Um, I like to slide that up and then grain just a bit. Not not too much as images are quite smooth. Uh, his images are pretty sharp so we'll jump this up go with that got reds uh purples not really in here magenta not really in here they seem to stand out quite a bit though so we might just leave them out okay luminance the brightness of colors we're going to bring up the blues because i think maybe in his other images he does that and then we've got quite a glow at the top there where they are blues so i'm just going to bring these up and then we want a sh like our subject is mainly orange and red so we're gonna bring this up just to give it a bit of a pop again oranges uh yellows up a little bit for a bit of a pop okay back up you can see maybe the curves you could play around giving it a bit of a fade Maybe, maybe it needs a bit of a lift to the blacks, just a little bit. But then it might need some darker blacks down here or a darkening this one. 
Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So I'll show you the curves again. Um, so these curves are pretty much the same. We're just adding a bit more blue into the highlights. Um, and then red and green are basically the same. You can see that there's a touch less red here. So it's gonna introduce a cyan, a bluey color, bluey green color. So that's also gonna help with his palette is very green and very blue. And then we've got those nice dark blacks here with a bit of a fade, not too much going on with the highlights there. So that's curves on and off. Pretty big difference there. Okay, so we are done. Let's look at our before and after pretty drastic difference yeah people don't realize how much of the image is editing they just don't realize like people that join my course they all say that they joined up because after watching my tutorials they go whoa is that editing is actually more important than the photo okay so one thing we'll do now is just open this up let's click on this copy settings we'll just grab everything copy um, shout out to Canon Matt. This is his image. We're going to do a YouTube tutorial on him soon, but this is his image. And we're just going to go paste. All right, and then we just got to tidy a few things up. Drop, drop the highlights so we can see more of the sky. Um, shadows, blacks down maybe. And then contrast down, definitely. Shadows so we can see a bit more. Blacks not so far. And then just obviously drop the exposure as well. And yeah, I think we get those like, oh, we'll just bring up the saturation. We'll bring out the greens. Maybe not so much luminance to the blues and aquas, but up the green saturation. Yeah, we get those really dark blacks with a fade, so maybe we could play this more. I think if we put some of his images next to this, it kind of looks like the palette that he's got going on with those really bluey greens that are quite saturated, as well as that dark blacks. We lose a bit of detail, but like that's not necessarily a bad thing. And then maybe we could bring down the luminance of the blues. Greens even. And yeah, I think that you sort of get those blue and green tones that are sort of uh, in his feed. And that's with the help of split toning and the curves there, just adding in those colors and obviously a bit of HSL and stuff like that. So here's the before and after of this one. And obviously if we played around with this one a bit more, we could get it looking pretty good, but we'll just leave it there. If we just go back to our first shot before, after crazy, crazy difference but yeah that's it for now as people don't realize how much of the final image is made in editing i've had a few of my students already say that they just did not know uh, how much editing goes into it here's a quick clip of one of the students inside my course we had a chat about that you know before the course i've been like hunting for these unicorn moments and the and the reality is is because the unicorn moment happens after the photo is taken that's how you make the shot and i never I mean, it's obvious having done the course to me, but I just, I really didn't realize how, you know, what is kind of an underwhelming shot when you take it and go, can be like amazing. Some of my favorite photos and we've had tons of awesome feedback from people inside of the course. So if you want to enjoy these YouTube tutorials a lot more, understand what is actually happening when I move these tools and why I'm moving them. Not only is there tons of content in the course, but you will really enjoy these YouTube tutorials as well because you'll get the raw image as well. So I think that alone is worth joining the course because you'll get way more value out of these YouTube tutorials. If you're really liking these YouTube tutorials, you will really, really like the content within the course. All right. So therefore you'll enjoy going through these YouTube tutorials even more. And yeah, come check out the page and watch the testimonials that we've got over there from current students and see uh, if you're ready to join us. Otherwise, comment people down below who you want to see on this channel so I can find people and I'll catch you guys in the next one.